Hi, this is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Text and Titles in Final Cut Pro 10. Watch this. I'm going to do It's a Brand New World. And I'm going to say, put a carriage return there and drag this up so we can see what's going on. It's a brand new world. Select that text. I'm going to change the font to Century Gothic and change it to bold. There we go. Look at that. It's, it's a problem because there's a typo in the word brand. Well, watch this. If I select the words and control click directly on the words, pop-up box says, do you want to check spelling and grammar? I can check while typing or check while spelling. I'm going to say show spelling and grammar. It opens up the spelling checker and it says, hey dummy, brand is misspelled. So change it. I want to fix it to brand and change it. And it says, whoa, it's, by the way, should have an apostrophe in it. There's a grammar error here. Do you want to change it? And the answer is yes, I want to change it. So that easily if I control click or right mouse click in the box, I get a slightly different window. If I click on the text, it allows me to find spelling. I can check the spelling. I can check while typing. I can check grammar. Very cool. I can't begin to tell you how many typos I've had in titles in Final Cut 7 that this is after it's been posted to the web. I've got to go back to the source and correct it and re-output and compress it and reload it. I hate when that happens. It's much better to double check your spelling right now as you're typing by right mouse clicking on the text. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Text and Titles in Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store.